Hi friends, how you doing? This is Sherry. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to my channel and welcome to my craft room and welcome to Thrifty Thursday. So today, uh, on Thursday every week, I come to you and show you what I have picked up at thrift stores during the past week and I found some really fun goodies this week. And it's also a bit of an open collab where if you want to tell me that you are going to do a Thrifty Thursday, you can use the hashtag Thrifty Thursday so we can all find each other. But I will also link your channel below and I will um, go ahead and just keep it under my video and then anytime you want to pop in and do a little Thrifty Thursday, people can go to your channel and just see what you're, you know, see if you have a video for that week. So uh, really fun, right? So uh, let me show you what I got this week. I got some just awesome kind of, you know, kind of uh, miscellaneous stuff, but really fun. <laughs> so I had a bunch of fun this week. So uh I really, really like bridge score pads, and I love finding them, all different ones, you know, there's because there's all different ones, all different shapes and sizes, so this is what I found this week. I found this one stack here at a thrift store, all of these in one stack. I was like, oh my goodness, I found the bridge score pad jack jackpot here, <laughs> right? But these two are, aren't they cute? This says Bonnie Prince Charlie here, and this says Henry VIII bridge score at the top here's the back some uh looks like some instructions there or something anyway here's the inside see there the different shape oh they open that's right they open like this <laughs> very different and i was like oh my goodness that's so cool i can make a little journal out of that cover just take these little this little pad out of here of score sheets i can use those in my journals of course for journaling spots and then i can make little booklets out of these covers and they don't have any kind of date in here this says Waddington's on the bottom what does this say this is Waddington's too I guess that's maybe the manufacturer but aren't they cute something very different than I've ever found before and so I was pretty excited when I found these and then here's another pretty one which uh, I've been thinking about these and I want to I have you know other bridge score pads and they have, sometimes have these really cutest little covers like this and I was thinking I could, you know, because I was thinking, okay, at first I'm thinking, okay, I may have to make a little, if I want to make a little booklet or notebook or journal out of these, I would just have to, you know, find them here at the top. But no, I thought this week or the last couple of weeks, I was like, I can just cut this off here, you know, and make a little kind of spine over here and just have a little booklet, right? A little journaling booklet or, or a little journal. And I thought that would be so fun to do. So that is on my list. But these are nice little um, score sheets here too. Uh, a little bit bigger than those. And they have, I think that looks like hunter green kind of color. Or forest green type thing, type color. So they have all those fun lines on the front and blank on the back. So, and again, there is no date on here no date but that's okay here's another now this one's wrapped up but uh yeah these oh look at that these are wrapped up uh yeah i got these about a week ago so i forgot what i got here <laughs> okay so does this since it's wrapped up does it have a date uh no no i don't think so caspari caspari is the brand on both of these c-a-s-p-a-r-i is the brand Printed in Switzerland. Japanese still life here on this one. Is that causing glare? I think you're all right. And then this one is Peonies and Willows. So isn't that a pretty cover? <clears throat> Which I could also make into a little journal, right? So these two are the same, as you can see. Echo, the Echo Design Group. Does this have a date? No. Here it says Gibson Company. Okay, no date, 40 sheets per pad. So I don't know where these came from. I don't know if someone had them and then didn't use them and gave them through the to the thrift store, but I think that I could also just have some fun with all of these little pretty little covers. I wanna see if I can get this off of here without making a mark. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to get those price tags off of there. The, the um, covers are just glossy enough that where these aren't sticking in making any kind of residue or mark there so 
that would be fun also to make a little cover out of. And this one was very different than anything I found before. It's just a big paper pad of bridge score sheets. <laughs> and they're craft colored. So I thought that was cool. Any kind of date here? No. I think that's a name of some kind. It has like the C copyright, but that is not a date. It's a, like a, the company or manufacturer, I think. Let me see if this one will come off of here. And I can see. Yeah, it's coming off, even though this is paper. There we go. Yay. <laughs> but look at all this. That's a heck of a lot of uh, bridge score sheets there. But they're really cool, aren't they? The craft color. That's a chunky pad of paper, though. Isn't that awesome? So I thought that was just, those were just super fun to find. Super fun find. I found a Wreck This Journal <laughs> at uh, one of my thrift stores. And I was like, well, that's cool. I'm trying to figure out, remember which one I found this at. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, uh, let's see, there was something, it's hardly used. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this because I already have one and I haven't worked on it. I've put it to the side for a few weeks because I got kind of uh, bogged down with it because it has so many crazy prompts that I didn't want to do. And I'm, I have ideas for new prompts, but I just um, have been so busy, really, with other stuff. So I'm going to get back to it for anybody out there doing the Wreck This Journal with me. I just um, needed a little break from it to do some other stuff, you know. So I have so many things in my brain that I want to do. So it's just hard to get to everything. Oh, here. I think this is one of the pages that was uh, used here. Those words are co co colored. Cover this page with odd things you find. So those words are just colored. Let's see anything else in here. So oh, what is this? This page looks like it was wadded up a little bit or crunched up. Choose your own wrecking method. And 6-2014. Wow. This has been around for a while. <laughs> that is, I didn't see that before. They signed it, which I can't read the name. But 2014. That is not used. Okay. So uh, this these words look like they've been colored here. Look, like just with... Um, they're actually really pretty, though. It almost looks like it came with that, like that, but I think it's been colored with maybe um, colored pencils, so very pretty, really. So, um, why did I get this? <laughs> because I thought somebody might want it, because, you know, I do my wreck this journal. So, um, if you're watching this video, uh, how about if we do a little giveaway of this wreck this journal right now, right here and now. <laughs> so, if you would like to enter a little drawing to win this wreck this journal... Uh, put a comment below and say something like, so I know you watched the video. I should have done it at the end, right? But I uh, know I didn't, so I didn't even think about it, but I'm thinking about it right now. If you would like to win this little wreck, this journal, it's just a little one, but it's like just like the big one, like I have, but it's a small. So that's pretty cu cute, right? It is, let me see. I didn't plan this, guy, so just just work with me here. Four inches wide. And six and one quarter inches long. A little pocket wreck this journal, right? But yeah, if you'd like to win this, uh, just put down below something about, oh, I love the wreck this journal or something. Make a comment about the wreck this journal. I'll know you want to be entered. And then I'll do a little drawing in about a week or so. And uh, and we'll see who wins it but or who wants it. <laughs> but these are fun. I really have been enjoying mine. And for the prompts that I don't want to do, like that I don't like, I'm thinking of other things to do. So, you know, you can watch my, I have a Wreck This Journal playlist. You can watch my playlist and get some ideas. And I will be continuing mine. I just needed to work on some other stuff, like I said. So, there you go. We're going to have a giveaway on that. Uh, I found some cute little, uh, these little... And look at these. These have a coffee pot. I could I could use these in my next coffee. Uh, I was just organizing my coffee journal stuff that I used on that coffee journal I just made. If you didn't see that video, I those videos I made a coffee journal, and uh, I just organized my stuff that I had pulled out for. You know, I didn't want to put it away and then be like, uh, you know, oh, I want to make a, another coffee journal. So I just kept it all together so that I could next time I want to make one I can. Be halfway organized. So, this these have a little coffee coffee pot there with a coffee cup and a little creamer. Super cute. So, I might just stick these in that 
I put them in a big one of those big plastic envelopes stuff everything in there so I might put that in there with my coffee journal stuff so what else did I get I've got some this is like fabric ribbon this reminds me of the when was that goose when was the geese pos popular that was like was that early 80s I think it might have been late 70s early 80s I just remember uh, I'm trying to think if I collected it or my mom collected it <laughs> my mom has a collection now like I think my mom collected it in the early 80s and then um, she had a few things, not a lot, just a couple things. And then she recently, like in the last five years, has found some more things, you know, at thrift stores or whatever. And uh, when we're thrifting together, really is when we were, she came up here and uh, we were thrifting together. And she bought a couple more things for her little goose collection. So this is, this was pretty cute. There was two, uh, two um, bun little bundles here. And it's like that mauve color that was popular in, I want to say, the early 80s with the little geese. They're so small. I don't know if you could see them, but there are little geese on there. I got two little things. I'm probably going to put some of this in my shop because I don't need this much of it. But yeah, I'll keep some and put some in my shop. Over the, Whenever I have my video and I say I'll put it in my shop, usually I'll do that over the next week after you see the video. I prefer to get it in the, my shop before the video, but, uh, you know, I just do it as time permits. So I found these. They say Easter on them. They are, well, let's see what they are. Let's open them up because I'm keeping these. <laughs> I'm keeping these for my journals. Let me open it up. Let's see what's in here. They look like felt or See, I'm not sure. That's why I want to open it. What are they made out of? Yeah, like, um, they're not paper, but they're not, they're like fabric, some kind of fabric. They're not really felt, though, but they're like fabric. -y. Does it say what they're made out of? Let's see. Um, it doesn't say, but they're not paper. You know what I mean? So they're kind of like, kind of like felt, but not felt like a thin fabric, almost stiff fabric. I don't know anyway aren't they cute and I pictured these in my journals as little decorations uh, there's three of those flowers so that's what they're all apparently made out of let's see where's the bag now anyway that's what those are made out of and then okay did they come out of here I guess they did okay so there's different kind of flowers in here aren't they pretty uh, <laughs> they're so cute I, lo I loved them when I found them and I was like but do I need them? And then I was like, yes, of course I need them. Because then I reminded myself that I had made those, you know, the ring bound journals where they're more colorful. And I happen to find some more books here. I'll show you an example of exactly what I'm talking about. These right here. <laughs> I found these uh, this week. And look at this. Is, aren't, they're all about the same size. And I made one out of the Sleeping Beauty book already. A little ring bound journal or, you know... It could even be a glue book, but so cute. This one's perfect. It's even got a little library pocket back here, back here. But I pictured these as the perfect little decorations, especially for these little Disney books, even the Mickey Mouse one. Here's an option. I have a couple more here. I'll show you in a second. But that's why I got these, uh, all of these. I just showed you these. These are a little, oh, they're made out of the same kind of thing. These might be a little fatter. And they have a little piece of um, bling in the middle there. Let me show you so you maybe don't see the... Um... And they're actually supposed to be stickers, but, you know, they have the little uh, raised foam piece on the back that's a sticker. And you can always peel that off if you want. If you want to use something like this and you don't want that bulk, that's what I do most of the time is take that off. You can use these to make cards and things too, so that would be fun. These on tags and cards, even in these journals. I can make tags and, you know, journaling spots for these or use them to decorate a pocket or a page. And they have these too. They all say Easter on them. I don't know where, what store they're from. Easter Crafts. I, I've never seen them in a store. I don't remember seeing these, but I don't go to that many stores, so... Real, real stores, you know, <laughs> I go to thrift stores, but uh, these have the wired leaves, 
and then the flowers so super cute right so yeah i thought those would be pretty decorations for these types of journals that are more colorful so i've got a sleeping beauty a riddle book mickey mouse look at that it looks brand new it's awesome i love it here's the inside oh here's the they put the library card that is so weird put the library card i wonder if that's a homemade like well it has a number on it library card it's just why would they put it right here you know i guess because this is so pretty all of it oh it's from oh it's from a it is a school looks like a maybe a church school community baptist school and yeah here's another i have to cover that up whenever i make it into a journal which is fine but there's a sticker there from that school and then they put this in a really weird place but you know, I'll be taking this apart and making maybe a ring mount journal with it. Uh, both of these. And then I found this is another Disney book, Gulliver Mickey. These were in just such a nice shape. I was like, and I just had made those ring. And see, they put this one in a good spot. Looks like the same school. I don't know why they put the other one like that. I mean, it's a decent spot. They didn't cover up Mickey, at least. And the other one they put over here. I guess they didn't want to cover this up. Yeah. Well, that's good. I guess they did the best they could. <laughs> so, but won't those flowers look cute with all these pretty Disney books? So, yeah, that's why I got those. And then this one also, it's about, it's a little bit smaller, but almost the same size where I could make this into a ring bound journal. And I have actually a lot of um, Charlie Brown, Peanuts, Snoopy stuff. So I could actually make a nice journal out of this or a ring bound journal, whatever. You know, or one with a spine, or whatever I end up doing. But yeah, this is from the same school. Okay, but this is a cute little, clean, very clean, like new, looking Charlie Brown book. So, and I like the colors on it too, and the hardback cover. So I was excited to find those, especially since I just made those ones and used the one Sleeping Beauty book I had. So. If y'all ever see, if you're watching and, you know, you see like, oh, I would like to have a ring bound journal made out of that book. Let me know. Let me know and I'll go ahead and do it, you know. I'll put you in, put you in line with uh, people who has, have asked me to do stuff and I will do it. If you want a ring bound or one with a spine, just let me know and, you know, put you on my list, you know. So, uh, let's see. What else do I have? I've got some sewing goodies here. This is a little measuring tape I thought I, I always like these and I have one that I carry in my purse but this is a little I think these are little vintage ones especially this orange one and this purple one and maybe this one too this is a little wooden one creative coatings like a premium the finishing source so it's a wood finished but this is a little orange kind of 70s looking one with this pretty little measuring tape it works <laughs> it's so cute right I just pushed right here you pull out you measure and you push it, push it right here, and it just goes right in. Let's see, let's test this one out. This is a purple one with the orange accents. So, ooh, I hadn't pulled them out before, so I just saw them at the store. I didn't even test them to see if they worked. I just thought they were so cute that I would bring them home. And let's see. There you go. That one works. <laughs> now, how does this one work? Oh, this just pulls out and in, I think. See, this pulls out and in. Uh, does it open up? It just feels like, nope, it doesn't open up. It just, like this, little measuring tape. This is kind of a fancy one. It's heavier and it's wood. It's solid wood. So cute, right? So I'm going to put all three of these in my shop. I have no idea what the price will be because I haven't. I did look up, a little, do a little research on these, and I did see how much they go for but I, I don't remember right now so you can look for those in my shop and uh, those the ribbon the fabric ribbon with the geese anything else that's it I think so far this when I see little um sewing kits I usually pick them up for you know future sewing journals because I like to stick them in the pockets or you can glue them down if you take this out this little sewing kit I can use this as a pocket for a journaling card or something, you know, so kind of fun. I think those are kind of fun to use in sewing journals. So as is or secret drilling spot or something. Uh, I did find these 
uh, little tags. And I don't think I have any this size. I have bought the little tiny ones at Walmart. You know, the little teeny tiny ones there. I think they're called jewelry tags. And these are a little bit bigger. So you can always coffee dye these or color them or just stamp them or whatever. I might, I might coffee dye some of these and then do a little stamping on them. That would be fun, I think, wouldn't it? Uh, super cute. I could put, you know, so many things you can do with them, right? So, and there's a lot in there. It doesn't look like maybe none were used. Or it says 100 right there, but looks all look, look, looks like all 100 might be in there. Is this another sewing kit? Oh, it is. <laughs> so this was like a little matchbook, uh, like a real matchbook. You know how it folds up. It says mending kit McCall's. It doesn't have a date or anything on it, but this one has it. The little sewing kit sewn in, I mean, stapled in right here. I would probably leave this one in there and then tuck in a little. So you can always use this as a secret drawing spot. And I probably wouldn't glue it down. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to cover up the macaws really. But I might put a little paper in there and <laughs> just use that as a fun little secret drawing spot. And really, it doesn't have to be a sewing journal, it could be any journal, right? I did find a measuring tape that is just a plastic yellow one, but I do like to cut these up and use them on the as on the side of a journal or tags or something as as trim. So, and you can glue them down with Fabri-Tac or so even I wouldn't hesitate to sew through this either. You just watch out for the metal piece. You don't want to try to sew through that, right? And oh, I have some of these in my shop already. These uh, paper bunnies. I found uh, these at a thrift store. And uh, so they are in there. They're double-sided. They're all the same, like this. <laughs> Cute little paper bunnies, like a bunny couples. And they're double-sided. See, they're on both sides. And I thought they'd be fun to, uh, you know, do all sorts of paper crafting with. So, uh, you know, and I love bunnies. So I brought those home to have fun with and share because I found a bunch of them. And a few more things. Uh, some tickets. These are Tim Holtz tickets, and I found it just like this. Some some were used, but I've never had t these Tim Holtz tickets. I don't know if I've ever even seen them, but I, I probably wouldn't have bought them if I saw them in like somewhere like Joann's or somewhere, Hobby Lobby. But since they were at a thrift store, I thought I would get them. There were $1.50. Oh, they're originally from Hobby Lobby. Look at that, $3.99. I got them for, I guess I got them for $1.50. So I figured they were worth $1.50. Because probably most of them, over half of them are here, I would say. Uh, yeah, over half, probably three, at least three quarters or, or more are still in here. So let's see if it tells how much. Oh, here it is, 96 tickets. So I'm not going to count them, but there you go. I would say at least half of them are in there. <laughs> so uh, that was fun. I'll have fun with those. And I wasn't sure, like I, I thought these looked pretty cool. And I like little cards and things. So these are just, oh, this was the package it was in. I, I couldn't wait for the video. I had to open them up and see what they were. So these are little cards. They're called monogram gift cards. I guess you're supposed to put your monogram here, but it doesn't have like any kind of little kit or anything. So I don't know what, how you're supposed to put your monogram on there. But I thought I would try my, I have a circle punch. I thought I would try, you can either cover this up, like circle punch something and glue it on here, or punch out this circle and put something behind. I thought would be fun. So I can do a couple different little things with those. A little craft sometime. And then these are envelopes. And these have a little kind of like dotted line around. This is the top, here's the flap. Cute little envelopes, right? And then they have a little dotted line around here and of course you can decorate this if I want to. So there's not too many of those. There's only 10 in here. So I thought that would be a fun little craft sometime. And then these looked really cool. They are CD sleeves and they are all packaged up and also I had to open these because I was like, what are these? I couldn't tell exactly what they were, but they had, I could see the patterns that look kind of like scrapbook paper. So I got them and here's one I'll show you. They're all like this, so they have the pretty pattern. They have this where you're supposed to write your title of your CD, or maybe you have a CD and you write all the songs 
or whatever is on the CD. And here's the back. Here's another blank for a title, but isn't it pretty back? And then it has a little, it's, I, I thought when I opened them up, I was like, wow, those are the perfect little pockets, right? Perfect little pockets. Um, I don't know. I might want not want to glue them down because I don't want to cover this up, but I probably would like to make, make a flip out. I mean, you can make a flip out or a flip down if you glue, you know, kind of wash them, glue some washi or hinge down here and then make a little flip down on your page. And then you have all of this to write on and then you can put something in there. So I was like super excited when I found these. I never seen, I've never seen anything like them, but here's all the, let me flip through the little patterns here. So there's a few of these and then there's this green one, pretty blue circles, a couple of those and that orange one. So I thought those would be fun and it look, doesn't look like, well, it says four designs of each. So I guess some of them were for use three of four designs three of each okay so there's supposed to be 12 in here and there's a one two three four five six seven i guess for 25 cents i thought that was a pretty good deal pretty good deal and then i hardly ever find british tally cards but i found some this week and uh i'm gonna break these open see what they I love bridge tally cards. I don't know why I've never, I guess I never ever saw them or <laughs> knew what they, they even existed before I, you know, got into junk journals. And then when I, when I discovered them, I was like, oh, they're just the cutest little things. I'd really like to make some booklets out of them. I've never, um, I usually just stick them in a journal for somebody to do what they want. Well, they're very tight in there. Let me see. Yeah, I usually just stick them in a journal for somebody else to be able to do what they want with them. But I really would like to do something with them sometime. Because i was been thinking about this the last couple of weeks too. Like I have a couple packages now. <clears throat> and uh, I like this for writing space because of the lines here and the little squares. These are filled in over here usually. But um, wouldn't this be a cute little booklet? And I'm sure people have done it before. I don't remember seeing it, but I'm sure they have. And just put some little coffee dyed paper, or little scraps in there. Yeah, uh, sew them in or, or staple them. Or um, you could um, sew them in, staple them in, any of that. So that would be fun, I think. Yeah, I really want, that's two couple crafts we, maybe craft with me. So I'd like to do is make some little booklets out of these, like little mini journals almost. And do something with these cards with a circle in the middle too that would be a fun little craft so look forward to that yeah just let me know like if you ever see me showing books and you say you think oh i would really like to have, make it see if sherry would you know don't be afraid to ask me i guess is what i'm saying uh you know don't just wait for me to do it <laughs> just ask me because i have so many things i have a list in my head that you know i try to uh go through but if somebody asks me to do something I will totally you know go ahead and do it like I'm working on that glue book right now for um, someone and then I think that's the last request I have at the moment so uh, yeah if you want a green bound journal out of one of those I'm trying to find the where did I put the um, well it's here somewhere anyway if you want to win that oh, here it is this wreck this journal it's on the bottom yeah, if you'd like to win this, uh, I'll have a little giveaway. And this is, I'm almost at 3,000, guys. I'm um, about seven or eight or nine. No, about eight away this morning, I think. So I had, need to have a giveaway. Anyway, this is not going to be my 3,000 <laughs> subscriber giveaway. But uh, it's just a fun little, like, spur of the moment uh, giveaway here. Since I, I didn't know what I was going to do with this. And I know I don't, I'm not going to try to sell it or anything. I just want, I kind of wanted to give it away anyway. So. That is what I'm going to do. Don't forget to just mention it in the comments. And uh, yeah, in a week or so, I'll have a, you know, I'm not going to set a date, but uh, just watch my channel, set the notification bell, subscribe. You need to be a subscriber over 18. I guess I need to do all the rules, right? 18 or over, hit the, be a subby, um, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I do do the giveaway video and comment below 
something about this wreck this journal <laughs> so uh yeah it's got a little wear here i mean you heard the date 2014 it's been hanging around in somebody's house it doesn't it doesn't smell or you know anything like that like it's not musty or you know it doesn't look dirty it just has a little bit of wear you know here on the cover because it's been in somebody's drawer probably some teenager's drawer but we can do this as adults too guys this is super fun so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have, have a good week and I'll see you next time in my next video. And uh, see you later. Happy crafting and happy thrifting.